morning guys, it is Thursday, 5.30. We are over hump day. We are on the downward slide, rolling into the weekend. So uh, welcome to Tabata. If you have got your band, your weights, and your jump rope, um, great, keep those. Next week, I'm going to do a little bit more band work. So if you don't have bands, you might want to think about ordering some bands or buying a band. We're going to do a little bit more with the kind of glute work, hip abduction, a little bit higher up. So um, just a little FYI, if you can get your hands on one of those uh, ankle bands or um, uh, uh, resistance bands, that would be great. Okay, for now, we're going to go ahead and get started. So let's warm up and then hit the road with Tabata 1. So let's do it. <sighs> Ah, here we go. March it out. March it. And march it wide. March it in. Four. Three. Hold it low. Warm the back. Did I say don't forget to sign in, guys? I always like to know who's working out with me. Two more. One more. Hands on your quads. Flat. Up. Flat, just nice and easy, warming it up. Two more. Now roll it up. Roll it. Shoulders, big circles. Step touch to the right. Reach and pull. Keeping those arms solid. Now ease your hamstring. Pull, pull. Breathe through it. Now rhomboid arms. Oh yes. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Let pull down. Pull it. And then knees up. Knees. Four. Three. Lunge to the right. Push. Push. Four. Three. Lunge it up. Reach it up. Four, three, lunge right. Four, three, lunge up. Four, three, march it out. Hold it wide. Come down to that stretch. Inner thigh, a little bit through the hips. And switch. One foot back. Down to that lunge. Hip forward, tricep up and over. Stretch it out. Little pulses. Pulse, pulse. Four, three. Switch. Down. Hold it. Up and over. Tricep stretch. Little pulses, just keeping them smooth. Four, three. And march it out. March it. Deep breath in, breathe out, press on the heel. Little pulses down with the glutes, just keeping them small. Take a deep breath in, switch sides, toes up. Little pulses down with the glutes, down and back. Nice and easy, excellent. Come up, release it. Relax the arm. Take two deep breaths. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more time. Breathe in. Excellent job. Nice. All right, great. Quick sip of water. First Tabata coming up. All right. All right, let's go, team. Looks like we've got on board Amy, Suzanne, and Brendan, Christina. Yippee, yippee and others that have not signed in necessarily. So, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and get started, guys. So it's jump rope and jump squats. We are going straight into uh, high cardio. You know the drill. Get ready for Tabata one. If you don't have a jump rope, you're just solid marching it out. And then I'll show you what your options for jump squats will be. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. 20 seconds jumping. Straight into that high cardio, get that heart rate up. And again, it's kind of nice to be able to mix and match. 
single week hops, side to sides. Got my unicorn down here. My magical unicorn for a magical day. Oops. There's your break. I was gonna keep jumping through that break. There you go. Alrighty, let's go team. Oh yes. Free, free, free. Keep going guys. Alright. Coming back to that. Alright, give yourself a good base. Feet a little wide in the shoulders. You can come up rolling from heels to toes, reach, or power jumps. I want you to think about your feet going a little bit wider than normal. Right, so not a squat like so. We'll go a little bit wider today. Breathe out. From heels to toes. Here we go, one more round. Here we go, jump up. Whoops, I can't even balance. Excellent. Keep going. Kind of land softly. No thug downs. Ah, back to jump rope. Remember, if you're not jumping, you're doing high knees up, shoulders down, solid marching. That's your low impact option. Breathe, breathe, breathe. One more round. Deep breath, exhale. Here we go. Breathe. Alright, down with the rope. Take your wide feet. Jump squats. Here we go. So again, you can jump it up. Or you're just reaching, rolling from heels to toes. Think out, push up. More solid in that jump up. Shake it out. Last one, it's a bottom one. Wide feet. Here we go. Breathe out. Keep breathing, guys. Your own speed. Nice. Toes up, heels down. Keep your head up. Nice little stretch, big of the legs. Hips and quads. Knees down, hips forward. Uh, release it. Release it. Alright. Go ahead and grab a sip of water. Divide two coming up. So bring that heart rate down. Grab your single weight. Uh, we're going to do a little more with the weight. The diagonal P and F and some kettlebell swings. So our first move is going to be our kettlebell. Not that we have one, so I'm using a weight. Figure out if you like to hold your weight like so or like so. Might be a little bit easier. Now, very, very important. A kettlebell swing is not a squat. Alright, so I'm not squatting. My face goes down or my chest goes down and it's a hip thrust glute squeeze at the top. Hips forward, glute squeeze. So, again, slow motion. It's back through 
and then hip squeeze, glute squeeze, hip thrust, glute squeeze, and your arms only come up to 90, right? So you don't need to go way up high, potential for shoulder impingement. So again, it's a, it's a face down, kind of like a deadlifty kind of thing, not a squat, down hips, squeeze the buns. All right, so that's our starting move. And then it's diagonal P and F. Here we go. Get ready for two. All right, so be very careful. We want to protect that spine. We want to protect the lower back. So it's not a squat. Face down. Four. Neutral spine, neutral back. Two, three, Here we go. Down. Glute squeeze. Breathe out. I'm just lifting that weight so that my arms are parallel. Right, I'm not going any higher. Breathe out. Oh, hip squeeze, glute squeeze, the release. One more, not a squat. Bend down, face down. It's a, oh, and then we started. So it's all about the hips. Flex through the hips, thrust through the hips. Squeeze through the glutes. You're engaging your glutes and your hamstrings. All right, iso lunge. Feels like I need to avoid this torque. I don't know why, but here we go. All right, down low from hip to sky. Here we go. Breathe out, lift. See how low you can go in that iso lunge. Breathe out, lift up. Oh yes. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Shake it. Down. Breathe. Low lunge. Here we go. From hip to sky. It's our diagonal proprioceptor exercise. What does proprioception mean? Well, it just means kind of like functional fitness. Knowing where your body is in three-dimensional space. Why is it helpful? So if you're out walking and you trip, you don't fall and break your hip. Whoops, keep this. You're able to save yourself. All right, here we go. Down, hips. Hips and glutes. Thrust the hips. Thrust the glutes. Bend down, up. Press back with the hips, engaging, firing, long, strong, neutral back and spine. Release it. One more. Remember, it's not a squat. Here we go. Down. Oh, it's that forward hip. If you are wearing a buckle belt, you're shooting that buckle belt forward toward me. Breathe out. Nice. All right, back down. Low into that lunge, as low as you can get. So we're isometrically working our legs. Oh, did I miss the countdown? Maybe I did. <laughs> Breathe out, lift up. I do that sometimes, I talk too much. And I talk right over the countdown. Breathe out, lift. So my weight's a little bit lower than I might normally do, or use, whoops, here we go. So sometimes when your weight's a little bit lighter, you can get a little more speed in there. If you your weight, you're going to want to go a little bit easier on the speed. Breathe out, lift up. Alright, here we go guys, the bottom two. Excellent. Go ahead and release it. Alright. So now you know how to do the perfect kettlebell swing. Not a squat. Alright, hips and quads. So my question is, I wonder if Amy and Brenda are working out by their pool. That's what my mind is thinking right now. If you are, 
Oh my gosh, it's gonna be beautiful because it's a gorgeous day. Grab a sip of water. We're on to tomato three. Rock stick, cha cha cha. All right, slow motion. Rock stick, cha cha cha. Rock stick, cha cha cha. Here we go, three. Oh man, I can't even do it. Cha cha cha. Cha cha cha. Okay, I think I'm doing something funky. But you should be alternating your feet. Rock it, cha cha cha. Strong biceps. Ah, right, release it. Okay, one more round. Same thing. So it's strong biceps. Rock it. Chuck, chuck, chuck. Here we go. Rock. Chuck, chuck, chuck. Just get into your own rhythm. Chuck, chuck, chuck on your toes. Unless you're going low impact. Now you can have your heels down. So heels up for that. Quick chuck, chuck, chuck. All right. Pick a foot, any foot, the foot you don't normally start with. Balance, single knee hop. You can hop it or reach it. Here we go. Down and up. All right. Or you can add that hop. Breathe out. A little more proprioception again. You got that wobble going on, but we're working on that 3D, knowing where we are in 3D space. Switch foot. Oh, oh, there we go. We haven't started yet. Breathe out, come up. Oh yes. Now, if you can't touch the ground, that's okay. Just get a little bend in there, and then come up. With the hook or without. All right. Take it. Back to your rock step, cha cha cha. Remember, it's solid biceps. Squeeze them, shoulder blades together. Here we go. Cha cha cha. Bring those shoulder blades down, shoulders down at the bottom. No hunching. Quick little high agility feet. Shake it. All right, last one. Rock step, cha cha cha. Here we go. Cha cha cha. Oh yes. Breathe, breathe, breathe. This is where you can get in as many as you want. Go as fast as you want to go. Nice. Shake it. Alright, big to big foot balance. Single leg. Down and up. Here we go. Hop it or reach it, your choice. I want you to really focus on your balance. Breathe out, come up. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Keeping that knee behind the toes. Shake it. All right, switch foot. Last round for Tabata three. Here we go, down and up. Oh yes. You'll find one leg is probably a little more stable than the other. For me, definitely more wobble on this one. And that's pretty typical. We usually favor one side. All righty guys, nice. Let's go ahead and stretch hips and quads. Switch. Nice. Let's get those out of gluteals. Oh, knee and ankle come up and in. Just get that nice piriformis stretch. Release it. Nice. You can stretch your hammies and calf muscles as well. Get a little stretch back in there. Release. Grab a sip of water. To about a four. We're down on the floor. Traveling push ups and then grab those weights. Flies and try, so a little bit of cool work as well.
All right. Starting with our traveling push-ups. Okay. Get ready for Tabata Four. All right. So here are your options. It's one push-up. You can pivot from your knees. Push-up. Travel. I'm pivoting from my knees. Or I'm going full length. Travel. Again, try to get down low with the chest. If you're full length, that's your goal. You can pivot from your knees or travel from your toes. Press it back. All right, this one, you're staying in a regular push-up, just straight up and down. Here we go, hands wide at the shoulders. Again, think about having a tennis ball right under your chest and try to get down that low. Three down, push up. Keep the core solid. Breathe. Stretch up. All right, grab your free weights. Lie on your back. We've got flies and triceps. One leg extended. Here we go. Flyer, triceps. Breathe, free. Exhale when the weights come back in. Now here's your option. You can keep doing this or elevate your second leg. Squeeze the glutes. Squeeze the core. The higher the legs is your option. Up with the hips. All right, switch me. Here we go, team. Flies and tries. Oh, yes. Big arms, as wide as you can get them. As wide as your weights will allow you. Now, here's your second leg option. Elevate if you like, or stick with the single leg. Three, two, one. Rest. Roll it up. Traveling push ups. Push up, travel. Push up, travel. Ready. Here we go, down and up, travel. Breathe out, push up. I like to pivot from the knees. Breathe out, push. Alright, press it back, stretch it out, guys. Woo! Press down. Alright, back to your regular push up. Here we go, down and up. Give yourself hands wide, out at the shoulders. Get down low to the floor, and don't curve through that back. So pull in your belly. Here we go, push up. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, take your flies and tries. Ready? Legs. Bring that lift. All right, here's your second option. Second leg option. Three, solid core. Up with the hips. Press up with the hips. Squeeze the glutes. And switch. Last one. Rise and ties. Breathe out, bring it in. Add that second leg if you like. Oh, you've got to engage the core. Think about pressing your navel down to the mat. Roll it up. Nice work, guys. Oh, go ahead and just release it. Excellent. Stretch, anterior delts, and then a big stretch, open it. Nice, you might want to get your legs, maybe not, but I mean, you certainly can if you just want to stretch a little bit more. The hips and quads, go ahead and stretch those as well. And then grab your band, band around the ankles. to start. So let's grab those with our free weights. Like 
I was saying at the beginning, if you don't need one of these, maybe try to get one for next week. I'm going to do a little bit more with the band work next week. Okay, nice way to get a little bit of extra added resistance. as much as I can. Release it. Alright, same, same thing, but switch to the other foot. Ready? Here we go, lift. So we're on the other foot now. We're really trying to extend that band. We're trying to snap it almost, so that we are engaging our quads and the isometric glute on the other side. Release it. Excellent. Rotator cuffs out to the side. The weights just hang. Lead to the side. Weights to the side. Here we go. Out. Think about balancing as much as you can. Keep the shoulders down. No hunching. Elbows stuck to the ribs. All right. We don't want them coming out. That puts a lot of pressure. We're away from our center of gravity. So stick the elbows to the ribs. Release. Tricep kickbacks. Oh, no, other side. So same thing, rotate your cuffs. Here we go. Again, stick the elbows to the ribs. You're working those little rotator cuff muscles, our rotation muscles in the shoulder, our throwing muscles. Try to balance on that iso lead. Oh. And the ISO leg gets pretty tired too. All right, elbows in. Now tricep pick backs, foot to the back. Here we go. Push it. Push it. Squeeze at the back. I like to lean forward so my triceps are going a little against gravity. I like to keep my core pulled in and push to the back. Thinking about a good squeeze. Hamstring. Release. Alright, little upper trap, stretch. Same thing. Flip sides. Ready. Here we go. Squeeze it. Alright, you can stop when the knuckles face the floor with those triceps. They don't need to come up to the shoulders. It's just extra that you're not getting much bang for your buck. So stop and then push. Oh. Last one. Okay, last two rounds, I should say. Wide feet, run it out. Here we go. Now, if you're going low impact, you're going to want to go stay low, knees go out. Oh, this is so good, bums and thighs. Breathe. This is more strength, more toning, more shaping, less cardio. So pick what you're trying to shoot for. Relax. All right, so you'll know if you want to focus more on your strength with this one or your cardio. Here we go. Last round. Keep those feet wide. Now, if you're running like me, this is a little bit easier than this. I can widen out my feet, stay a little lower. Two toes. Oh, yes. Oh. Excellent job, you guys. All right. Let's go ahead and stretch it out. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And switch. Hips and quads. Stretching out. And switch. All right, we're going to finish up with some side lunges and some lunge kicks. So again, not necessarily cardio. 
your heart rate's going to come up, but definitely working those major lower body muscles. So grab a sip of water. side lunge. Now, I want you to focus on wide feet, same side, glutes to the back. So this one stays straight-ish, this one's definitely bent, parallel feet. Breathe. Shake it. Switch to the other side. Big step out, parallel foot. Here we go. Down and up. Push off. I want you to think about that push off. All right, so you're really engaging those leg muscles. And again, you can go as slow or as fast as you want to go. Parallel feet and get that push off. Back to that original foot, lunge, whoops, actually let's just do a lunge and down. Single foot, same foot. Again, we're going to some depth and you're pushing off with that front foot. Front heel pushes off. Lead out, push. All right. Switch sides. Pushing up with that heel. Big step forward. Here we go. Oh, push off. Solid core. I'm going to think about working hard. I'm like you're really trying to push. Shake rest. Your lateral parallel feet. Here we go. Down and push. Oh, get okay, that push off. If you need a little support, you can go ahead and have some support. All right, what do you feel is good for that? Show that. Alright, other side. Again, I want you to focus on low, push off. Here we go. Oh, press it out. Go low, push off. Good. This time it's a back lunge, so step back and kick. Here we go. Back, kick. Now you might want to an opposite arm forearm punch. So you're into that back lunge low. This knee is driving down. Breathe out, punch it. Solid core. Nice. Oh, switch. Last round, other side. Ready? There you go. And then opposite arm punch if you like, or just stay solid. But I want you to think about the lunge, because really it's mostly about the lunge. Knees behind the toes, driving the back knee down. Release it. Excellent. Oh, toes up. Switch. Hips and quads in the front. Knees down, hips forward. Alright. Any 
something in the nice pure form of stretch. All right, nice. Okay, lying down on your sides. Uh, we're going to start with some hip dips. Elbow under the shoulder, on your knees, or you can go on your toes full length. So a little bit of hip dips first. Here we go. Last about it. On the bed. Okay, guys. Look aside to stuff. Elbow under the shoulder. Now you might want a hand on hip, you might want arm up. You're just doing your hip dips. And remember, you can do the same thing on the knees. In fact, for the next exercise, I'm going to be on the knees. Exhale on that up. Find that comfortable position for you. All right, stay on the side. Okay, either on the knees or full knees again. It's going to be this. Up on the shoulder. Knee in and up. Knee in and up. So again, hand on the hip, hand on your head, hand up high. Just find a good spot. Bring it in, push it up. Now you can be full length if you like. Oh, switch. Woo. All right, on your knees or full length, hip dips, elbow under the shoulder. Here we go. Go high and go low. Keep that core solid. And you got lift up. Oh, yes. And you got lift. Nice. Take a little break. All right. You can stay back full length. Honestly, I can't do these full length. I like to say my body's too long, but I don't know what the deal is. So here we go. In, lift. Breathe out, lift. Woo, keep the core solid. Press with the heel. In and out, lift it up. Oh, you're getting that fatigue. Keep going, though. Nice. Roll over to your back. All right, crunch. Hips and chest. Both straight up. Here we go. Lift. Chin up, chest up. Keep that gap right there. You want a little more challenge? Cross the arms. Lift the hips. Lift the chest. Shoulders stay off the mat. We're not collapsing at the bottom. Take a break. I like to go hips up. It just kind of lengthens out my ab rectus. All right, one more same thing. Lift. Breathe out. Keep that chin up. Straight up to the ceiling. Breathe out, lift. Breathe in, breathe. Excellent. Up with the hips. Roll over. Swimming. Reach long. Here we go. Get that ear under those quads. Reach long. Make sure you go. Breathe. Breathe, breathe, team. All right, no break, guys. We're going straight into a 30 second plank. So get right up here and you lose your toes. We have started. 30 seconds, stay solid. Now focus, core tight. Don't curve through the back. Now I find a good sweet spot. Nice to try a plank in a mirror. Then you can really look at your core. Don't want to have that curved in back. Again, same thing on the knees. That's your option. All right, here we go, guys. Deep breathing. Press down, exhale. Now press those elbows down and get a lovely tricep stretch. Come back down. Lie on your mat. Quad stretch. Forward with the hip, back with the knee. Roll over onto your back. Hug the knees into your chest. 
and then press those heels up to the ceiling. Alright, bring both feet together. Adductors, go ahead and stretch them out. Gently press out with the elbows. Out of groups. Bring that knee in. Oh, get a little rotation. I love this. Because it gets that blood flowing back down away from the extremities, away from our feet. Oh, it just feels good. Switch. In fact, I've been told, circle, that if you wake up in the middle of the night, or the early wee hours of the morning, and you can't go back to sleep, apparently if you get out of bed, rest your feet up against the wall, that apparently makes you like sleep easier and more easily. Alright. Try it. Let me know if it works. Roll over to the other side. So I'll put this way. Stretch out the other quad. The one that we haven't yet stretched. Forward with the hip. Back with the knees. Alright. Hands at your sides. Take a deep breath in. Exhale all the way up to downward dog. We're looking up. Oh. Grab those elbows, press back with the hips. This is your opportunity to really get those tight hamstrings. Oh, press back. Get that space between your vertebrae. Relax your head and neck. Relax your arms, roll it up. Oh, roll the shoulders. Open up through the chest. Press down. Alright, release it. Oh. And take two deep breaths. Breathe in. And breathe out. One more time. Alright guys, have a great couple of days. Exhale. I'll be back here with Chloe at 745. We got Rip. So I hope to see you then. Have a great few days. Thanks for working out.